Hello, you beautiful creatures. How the devil are you? <laughs> I'm so sorry about that intro. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Lou, or Lucifer, as my friends like to call me. By my friends, I mean my Instagram account. Guys, I am so sorry. I've got no idea what's going on. Uh, I'm all over the place, and I blame that game. Is it a dead... At dead of night yeah I think it's that one so we've been watching 8-bit Ryan recently and now we've completed it and we don't know what to do and I feel like my days are just broken up again and uh, you know when you get those days where you get up and you just want to make minimal effort you don't want to do anything my knee is absolutely killing me as well so yeah now we've got those negative vibes out of the way there is a reason why i got up and a reason why i somewhat did my makeup but didn't really and my lipstick decided that it was going to be a total mess you know when you first start trying out black lipstick and it's literally the worst it is absolutely the worst it gets everywhere and then you start trying to do your eye makeup and then you start smudging it and some of it isn't like layered properly so it just looks like a mess that's that's what we're working with today but on a positive note forget all of that or don't if it made you laugh great good put a like and put a comment down below just saying how much you're enjoying my life failing at the moment <laughs> but on a positive we have got da, 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 our new box subscription this is box of goth and honestly i cannot wait to open this box so this theme is uh nevermore a growl and poe the raven and I am so freaking excited to open it. I honestly didn't realise how quickly these boxes would come. So yesterday I actually did my unboxing with a cult box. That was the bat themed box. Um, yeah, I thought it'd be at least a couple of days until I'd be doing an another unboxing. But here we are. So I guess I'm going to do this unboxing with you guys if that's okay. Of course it's okay because you're watching this video and that's what you want to see. You don't want to hear me jabbering on. So this is, like I said, Box of Goth. Uh, I looked at a couple of her other boxes and I immediately fell in love. So this and Spooky Box Club are the subscriptions I've got going so far. I will be getting a couple of other boxes in the future, however, they won't be subscription boxes, they will just be random boxes. So if you've got any ideas of any boxes, any companies, uh, subscription companies you want me to look at, I will happily do that. I will try out one of their boxes. But without further ado, let's get into this. First of all, can we just talk about the fact that it's a freaking coffin? <laughs> it was really weird actually. Yesterday when I went for my final jog, when I went up the country road, there was a hearse and it drove past me really slowly. And the undertakers just kind of gave me a solemn nod. And I was like, this is the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> It doesn't take a lot to make me happy. So I am literally blabbering on just because I'm trying to find my way in. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I get so excited. I'm so sorry about the noises I make. I'm not. I'm really not. Uh, let's have a look. So... The first thing I found, and I'm really excited about this because I believe, bear with me a second. Ooh. Is it the same? Yes. So from the Nevermore Curio um, self-love box I did, I obviously got this Angel Magic one and it's from the same company. So this is Demon's Lust. That's really exciting. So it feels like I've kind of got the opposites now i really think that i got this at some point when i was a kid as well and i really think obviously with myself being called lucifer little horns if you hadn't noticed um i think it's very apt for this channel <laughs> uh i also wanted to put it out there i don't think for a second just because i've called myself lucifer and it's 
that's basically the name and the persona I'm kind of going with. Don't think that it's it's like that. I'm not like a satanic YouTuber. Like it's literally because I really love horns and I just think that my name fits really well with Lucifer. So, and I used to get it. I used to get called it a lot in uni, and it just stuck. So this is it. So we have got now. That's really confusing because it's the same colour as my um, Angel Magic one. Ooh, ooh, that's really. That's a really sharp, musky, musky smell, I think. Yeah, it, it's, it kind of reminds me of after, uh, so like when a, when a bloke's sprayed like aftershave or something like that, but it's been left for a couple of hours. So you only get like that slight tickle. But that is gorgeous. I'll just show you. So it's a standardised um, incense stick, it's not horrendously long. What I've noticed with these incense sticks is they last about half an hour, give or take. It depends on if you blow it out properly and it's not, it's not kind of lit at the end. But I burned one of my angel magic ones and I was like, why are you gone so quick? <laughs> <laughs> so I think it does just depend um, if you do leave the tip burning um, properly. Like if it's if it's orange, then it will go down a lot faster. Whereas if you kind of um, blow it out a little bit more, they'll go down a little bit slower. But I'm not too sure about that. Don't quote me on that. I know you can get longer ones. Uh, I'm just conscious because where my incense burner is, it's literally behind the bathroom door. So this size for me personally, it's really good. Really good for me personally. Okay, so those are our incense sticks and I've just picked up lovely little bag. Now again, they've used the same bag as the other, so other small businesses that I've used, uh, a cult box as well, which I'm really not complaining about because I really love the colours of the bags. I have been looking into potentially getting a couple of bags for my small business, business as well. So putting my little needle felted creations inside of them. And I think that would make it, make it really cute. If not, I can always just reuse these. I'm a firm believer in reusing things that you're given. So. <gasps> oh, wow. Guys see if I can move it back look at that that is absolutely gorgeous my fingers are too fat oh it's all right it's adjustable that's that's really good I love a ring that's adjustable again because I've got really fat fingers and this is the way there we go so if I show that to you that is a gorgeous raven skull ring and i believe that is let me just get my phone so that's a really lovely gold color i thought it was a little bit silvery in the light but that that is a really nice I really love that, really love that. I've been looking for something like that for a while. I'm really upset because I got a pendant from Nevermore Curio and because my house is a state at the moment, it's gone walkabout so I don't know where it is. Hopefully I can find it but I'm probably going to have to buy another one. Nevermore Curio, if you're watching this, yeah, I'm going to be buying another one of your black um, raven skull necklaces from you again i'm so sorry about that my house is literally just a mess i'm keeping this on <laughs> right let's see what else we've got i don't want to oh 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 that is very cheeky that's very cheeky we have got an alchemy gothic it's so it says extraordinary design i think 
Yes, so it's a collectible miniature. Oh, I don't know if I want to take it out. I'll take it out. Stuff it. I'll take it out. I'm, I'm really precious about this kind of stuff. So me and Gareth, I don't know if you've noticed the humongous pop vinyl collection we have but Gareth really doesn't like it when they're taken out of the box and it started rubbing off on me now so I don't like taking collectibles out of the box but the thing is if they're in the box you can't really enjoy them you know what I mean uh, if you want me to do a video on my pop vinyl collection I will more than happily do that because I have so many so we've got a little uh, there we go. So we've got a little collectible miniature of the raven on top of the skull. That's so cute. I really love that. I might put it on one of the sides, maybe. I just don't want it being put somewhere that has no significance. Do you know what I mean? And it's just forgotten. So that is really cute. And the fact that it's Alchemy Gothic as well. Like I said in the other video, I love it when people collaborate. I really love it when people collaborate. So I'll pop that over there. And we have got a nice little... I move that. There we go. And it says, at no future time, never again. That is very, very pretty. I'm getting so many of these kinds of postcards and uh, prints now. I really need to buy some frames. I'm going to go to B&M tomorrow. And if I can, I might do a video about where's best to get cheap frames from. Just because I know if you go through for like those really gothic ornate frames sometimes they can be really expensive unfortunately because everything that's going on i would go and have a look in the antique shops but they're closed so we've got a nice little print there and it feels so lovely really lovely and that i believe is from the raven i do believe it's from the raven quote me if i'm wrong quoth me if i'm wrong <laughs> But that is lovely. So I'll pop everything over there. So we've got our incense, we've got our little collectible, and we've got our little our little print. Oh, we've got we've got something something tied up. How exciting! Oh my god! Look how cool is that? These prints this print game is amazing like <laughs> i love that so much part of me wishes i'm just folding it so here's a little tip for you as someone who used to have a massive amount of posters from hmv if you fold it backwards hopefully yes there we go it'll come out straight so if you ever get something like this, just fold it backwards and it will literally, yeah, it will literally come out straight for you. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. And that's another little, <laughs> little print that I'm going to have to put in the frame. That is fantastic. Yes, keep coming, keep coming. Oh, we've got some, some little wisdom spell candles so we've got some nice little blue candles i'm currently collecting my candles at the moment as you guys know so i've got a lovely set of pink ones uh from my self love box i've got a white standard candle from the occult box and now i have some blue candles i do actually have a box that i bought from our local witchcraft shop and it's just full to the brim of stuff so i might show that to you guys at some point so we've got some nice little candles there that's really exciting i'm just literally picking things out now because i can i can kind of see oh oh wow i've never used one of these before so we've got a ravenous 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 lip scrub there we go so we've got that for you. I'm obviously not going to try it now um, just because, well, I've, I've got lipstick on and it would make a mess. I will try it and I will let you know because aren't lip scrubs meant to get rid of the dead skin on your lips? At least that's what 
I'm just trying to open it. Oh guys, it smells really good. Oh wow. That smells like treacle and cinnamon. Oh, that is gorgeous. Can I just have it as like, whenever I have a panic attack, just like take it out of my coat and this is, this is better this is lots better that is really nice that smells absolutely lovely i really don't want to use it that is gorgeous i will like i said i will give it a go my sister she gave me oh oh okay so it's chocolate fudge do not eat mm. uh vegan friendly contains sugar coconut oil grapeseed oil organic flavoring and food coloring so that is chocolate fudge for you but it honestly smells like cinnamon and treacle i'm kind of getting the fudge now i'm getting the fudge a little bit now but it's a very nice kind of green well it's a very nice um red reddish brown color so that's really exciting as well so that's our lip scrub Anyway, as I was saying, my sister actually told me a really good thing. If you find that your lips are really dry, it means you're dehydrated. So there's a little tidbit for you. So at the bottom, we have Nevermore. So that's the theme of the box this time. I'm not going to look at the back just because that's the table of contents. So I'll pop that there. We have got another fridge magnet. You know how I love my fridge magnets. <laughs> our fridge our fridge is literally covered with just you know when you go to dungeons, so like Warwick Castle Dungeon, um York Dungeon and you can have a photo op. Our fridge is literally covered with those and I can't wait to cover it with more of them. I miss the dungeons. I miss working in them so much and I really can't wait to go back. I really, really can't wait to go back. But we shall see. We shall see what happens in the future, eh? So we've got a uh, we got a clear gloss, and it's folly and fire. Oh, a colour inducing trip, transcending the physical, fierce makeup without the BS. Exciting. Okay. So it's a transparent gloss. I'm not a massive oh that's very pretty that looks far too fancy to me <laughs> I look at some makeup and I'm like I could never wear that predominantly because it looks really fancy I've um I don't often wear clear glosses I used to when I was a kid you know when you used to get those ones from Claire's accessories and stuff and it was like jelly that's what I used to get <laughs> But yeah, that's a lovely clear clear gloss for you. Can't really see, can you? No, you can't really see it. Well, mainly because it's a clear gloss. <laughs> oh gosh. But yes, that's that's a nice little there we go. That's a nice little addition as well. So we've got a clear gloss with our lip scrub see what else we've got so we've only got two things left thank you so much for sticking with me if you're still here 18 minutes in okay so we've got a little package and i'll pop this little dickens open <gasps> Ooh, you are treating me box of goth we have got i move it around for you a little raven reading a book i've been looking at this kind of stuff for ages like if you see my etsy search it's just edgar Allan poe the whole thing is edgar Allan poe which i don't know why because i'm kind of in a love hate relationship with him at the moment so what i want to do for you guys is i want to do a video about what are the best stories works poems that he's done the best things to get started with basically reading Edgar Allan Poe and I'm reading some of them and some of them I'm just having a really hard time I seem to be in a part of the book where he just talks about going to sea a lot and going into space and whatnot and I'm not a massive fan of that kind of stuff but he's so like his scientific knowledge and his 
his dialogue so like his scientific dialogue is just so convincing like he could be a scientist he literally could if i didn't know he was a writer i would i would have i would swear down that he is a scientist or something like that because the way he speaks it's just amazing and really confusing at the same time uh he was also doing another one about a man who put another like an elderly dying man underneath a trance and they were talking about uh what happens when you die and this that and the other and i think it was just i think it was his interpretation but it was just so hard to follow so stick with me on that one guys i will try and finish as quickly as possible i actually looked at some of my favorites uh telltale heart the black cat full of the house of usher and they're only about three pages long and that really confused me because if anybody else watched any of his edgar Allan poe um his edgar Allan poe oh wow if anybody else watched his kind of movies that were based off the stories they just seemed a lot longer so it's it's really confusing me at the moment but stick with me on that one watch this space and the last thing we've got so we've got it feels like just make sure we haven't got anything else so we've got another little small package and it feels like another necklace potentially potentially a bracelet we shall see oh there we go aha so we have got oh that's lovely the size of it really scares me so we have got a little bracelet and if i can put it on i might have my wrist might be too fat oh no it's not no oh wow my wrists have gotten really small so since i've been losing weight i've been noticing weight loss in the strangest areas so my fingers my wrists other places <laughs> uh, yeah my kneecaps as well so if I turn that around if I go there so as you can see it's got a cute little raven on it so all together with that jewelry set you've got your ring you've got your bracelet and you have got the cutest little necklace as well so that would be a lovely set to wear out it really complements each other as well even though the ring is gold it's it still works it really does still work so i'm going to pop the necklace on now that's that's all of the all of the contents in the box i will read out the table of contents in a second i'm just going to show you how long this necklace can go just because I don't know if some of you are like me where you're really funny about your necklace how long your necklaces are I'm really funny about that kind of stuff if it's too short don't like it I won't buy it so this is ideally how long you can have it which I think is a really nice length it's not too restrictive and if we look at the where did I put it aha uh -huh we are back again so now i'm gonna let you know what the table of contents is so we have got our raven necklace we've got our astral trip uh looking glass clear um clear gloss by folly fire we've got our never again quote print we have got our nevermore raven skull miniature by alchemy england now when i first started following them i swear they were called alchemy gothic but i can't be too sure this was when i was 16 though and i went to prom and that was a very long time ago so i don't know if they've changed their name or not but let me know if they have because that's very curious we have got our oh it can be an anklet as well so the raven charm bracelet it can be an anklet that's nice i'm just really funny about that kind of stuff because when i put things on my ankles they tend to disappear or they get fractured like my ankle <laughs> so we have got our wisdom spell candles we have got our bird skull ring we've got our ravenous lip scrub and we have got our nevermore magnet and that is our first box of goth 
unboxing in the bag or the box I don't know <laughs> Thank you so much for sticking with me guys. I really honestly don't know what was going on in this video. Um, I have noticed and I will apologise in advance that in the last couple of videos I have been seeming a bit out of it and a bit low energy so I kind of need to find something to tackle that because I don't want it to be a case of you guys get bored of what you're watching. So I will kind of cut out all the bits where I'm like mm -mm. <laughs> so hopefully that will help you guys out again if you want to see more unboxings if you want to see more hauls all the spooky stuff all the creepy stuff the horror reviews the marvel reviews also i am going to start going into wrestling a little bit more so what i'm going to do is if enough people follow me on instagram i am going to put up some kind of you know like on sky or freeview where you've got a tv guide my dad did this and he put up all of the videos that were coming up so if you want you can refer back to that guide and see the videos you want to see and the videos you don't want to see just because i'm really hoping that this channel can really broaden out and there might be times where I upload videos that certain people might not necessarily like so I feel like a lot of my videos are very female orientated at the moment and I really don't want that to be the case I want everyone to enjoy it equally problem is a lot of the stuff that I want to do that a lot of people will enjoy requires me to go outside i can't do that at the moment well i can go outside just not to anywhere fun uh like my molly lee like my peak wildlife i will be going to peak wildlife more often uh chester zoo as well we are hoping to go to a lot of places we might be going to center parks as well at some point this year uh it's just really expensive so we don't know about that one we want to go back to york as well uh there's loads of places we want to go to but again we just need to wait for this lockdown to be over so please bear with us please bear with me if that's something that you want to see please also pop a uh comment down below just letting me know if there's anything specific you want to see i am going to start doing more weight loss stuff as well just because i feel like if i'm if I keep going the way I am, I might have more progress to show you in the next couple of weeks. I'm not necessarily changing massive things in my diet. I'm just doing a lot more exercise and being a lot more mindful about what I'm eating and whatnot. So we'll see where that goes. But thank you so much for staying with me, sticking with me, um, enjoying this unboxing with me as well. Box of Goth, once again, I've already spoken to you, but thank you so much for making these it's really made me happy and really made my day and hopefully this video will help to make other people's days so that's all i've got to say on that <laughs> if you like this video please make sure to subscribe because you know i should be doing more videos like this and if you want those kinds of unboxings hauls spooky uh marvel horror vibes i got those vibes for you <laughs> i hope you have a wonderful day if not that's okay always remember tomorrow's a new day see you later guys bye